hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel today guys i am going to be showing you guys this beautiful delicious spicy shrimp pasta recipe but before we begin if you find this video helpful don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you're new here and let's get started all right guys let's get started first thing i am going to do is boil my pasta to boil the pasta i added about a few cups of water to a pot then i am going to season the water with one tablespoon of chicken broth also i am going to be adding a little bit of salt and then we're going to cover that allow it to come to a boil Once my water started to boil, I am going to add in my pasta. These are pappadella pasta. However, you can use any type of pasta, penne pasta, linguine pasta, any shape that you like. We're going to add that in there. Also, we're going to give it a quick stir. Then we're going to cover it, allow it to boil for about seven minutes. All right, guys, my pasta is nice and al dente. As you guys can see, I am going to remove the pasta from the hot water. However, save about half a cup of pasta water. You'll need it for this recipe, so make sure to save about half a cup of the pasta water. Now I am moving on to my shrimp. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of oil to the shrimp. To season, I'm using paprika, Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, as well as some Cajun seasoning. We're going to season that until it's nice and well seasoned. You know how we do over here. We're going to over season everything because we want it to taste very delicious. Now I am going to add about two tablespoons of unsalted butter to a skillet. Once that is nice and hot, we're going to place our shrimp in there. I'm going to cook the shrimp for about a minute per side because we're going to add the shrimp back in the pasta once it's done cooking. So please don't overcook the shrimp because rubbery shrimp is not fun to eat. I don't like it, I hate it. Once you are done, you are going to remove the shrimp, set it aside. All right guys, now that I remove all of my shrimp, I set them aside, moving on. I am going to be using the same skillet. I am going to be adding about two more tablespoons of butter in there. I'm using unsalted butter, but of course you can use salted butter if you want. Once that is nice and melted, I am going right after with some yellow onions. Next, I am going in with about half tablespoon of minced garlic. Next, I am going to be adding about two to three tablespoon of tomato paste in there. We're going to cook that for about three minutes. I really want to fry the tomato paste to remove the raw tomato paste taste. So we're going to keep frying it. As you guys notice, I need a little bit more oil. So I'm going in with just about a tablespoon of oil or butter or whatever. <laughs> we're going to add that in and keep stirring just like that. 
All right, guys, now I am going to be adding some seasoning. This is what's going to make it nice and spicy. I am using some pepper flakes as well as some Cajun seasoning. We're going to add about half a lemon juice in there as well. And you are going to stir that together. Remember I told you guys to save your pasta water? Well, now is the perfect time for you to add in the pasta water. However, you can replace the pasta water for some chicken broth, but we're just going to use the pasta water. Now, if you wanna make this a little bit healthy, you can throw in some spinach or broccoli if you like, but I am going to be adding in the spinach, give that a stir. Also, I'm going to add in the remaining of my pasta water. And also, I am going right after and add in my heavy cream. Now is the perfect time for you to taste it to see if you need some salt and pepper. I needed some salt and pepper so I went ahead and add that in. And also I'm going to be adding in some Parmesan cheese just like that. And you are going to give that a stir. Once your cheese is nice and melted, you can throw in your pasta. Next, I am going to be adding in my pasta. I am going to twirl the pasta in with a tongue just to make sure the pasta is well incorporated with the sauce. And one thing I like about this pasta, it clings so much better with the sauce, the way they made it, I guess. It helps the sauce clings better to it. And we're just going to keep stirring it just like so, as you guys can see. I am using little to no heat at this point because we're at the final stage, okay? And now I am going to be adding in my shrimp. Look how beautiful and gorgeous and all of that juice from the shrimp, just pour that in there. It's going to make this 10 times better. You can add all of your shrimp if you want. However, I save some to garnish at the end. This recipe is super easy to create in no longer than 30 minutes you can make this happen. And let me tell you something, this is one of the best pasta recipe that I've ever tried and trust me, take my words for it. This is a 10 out of 10 would recommend pasta recipe if you're a pasta lover like me, okay? And it was not as spicy as I expected it to be, so that's a good thing. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, if it was helpful, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. You guys can do it. Give this video a thumbs up for me. That helps me out a lot. And also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my videos. And I will see you guys on the next recipe.